Thai chili beef is a delicious bakery recipe that's ready in only 20 minutes. It's the kind of meal that fills the kitchen with mouth-watering aromas and gets everyone excited for dinner. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's utterly satisfying, and it's ready in a snap. This is how you make it. So unsurprisingly, one of the key ingredients in Thai chili beef is a chili pepper. So I remove the seeds from one red chili pepper and I'm going to slice that up. And here's a tip, once you've been slicing chilies, wash your hands with cold water because hot water opens the pores and means the spice is more likely to linger in your fingers, stinging your eyes when you touch them later on taking out your contact lenses. Don't know if that's a real thing or not, but I've always washed my hands with cold water after chopping chilies. Then we're going to prep our spring onions. You want to keep the green part at the end because we're going to use that for garnish but then slice up the white part. I always cut it a diagonal. I just think it looks more interesting in stir fries, but do whatever you like. And then you want to zest one lime. Again, we're going to keep this lime because we're going to use the lime juice later, but to add into the chili beef, we're using the zest from one lime. Then you want to heat some coconut oil and a wok on a high heat, and we're adding in that mince. This is a really key part of the recipe. You want to cook that mince until it starts to really go brown and crisp up and starts to smell like a burger. Don't just cook it until it goes slightly gray and not pink. Then heat some sesame oil in the wok, add in your chili and equal measures of garlic and ginger paste, along with some grated carrot. And you're going to cook that for just a couple of minutes until it starts to smell fragrant and delicious. And then you're going to add that mince back into the wok. To that, we're going to add some oyster sauce. We're using two tablespoons. It is nice and thick and just gives it a really nice color and coating. And then we're going to add in some fish sauce. You can leave this out if you're a bit fussy, but it really adds a beautiful depth of flavor along with some tablespoon of honey for a little bit of sweetness. Once all that's in the wok, just mix it through so it's nicely combined. Hey, sorry for the interruption, but I've got a super quick favor to ask. If you could either click like, drop a comment below and let me know what you think of this recipe or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. It has got absolutely nothing to do with my ego. It just means that if you interact with this video in some way, YouTube is more likely to show it to others so that more people get a chance to cook my recipes. Thanks in advance. Now back to the recipe. Then all you need to do is to add the spring onions into it, give it a quick mix through again. And then from there, all you need to do is just to plate it up. Now for this, I would normally serve it with egg fried rice, but you can just serve it as is. Give it a squeeze with some of that lime from before, pop on the green bits of the spring onion, and I think adding some sesame seeds just gives it a really nice final touch. So there we have it, Thai chili beef, super easy, quick recipe to make, great for midweek. And if you'd like the full recipe, just click below and you can download my Food for Fitness recipes app and you'll get access to this recipe and about 300 others. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Drop me a comment below if you make this recipe and let me know what you think about it. And hopefully we'll see you back here on the channel very soon for another high protein recipe. See ya.